Alrighty then, here we go. Um, I'm hoping for a nice, nice and easy, um, breaking point to career mode, but you can never quite tell if that's ever gonna happen, of course. But here we go. Into the. Previously, game. in breaking point. Aiden, please tell us, how does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your very first race? I feel like a little kid. I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes. And tell me about Casper Ackerman. How is that relationship coming along? It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? He tried to stop them from signing you. Didn't want to play babysitter. We all feel sorry for you, mate. You never stood a chance with him. I had a call this morning from Tristan Horner. You're being watched. You know what his problem is, don't you? Thinks you're getting too old. You want respect, you give respect! That's how it works! How about you give me a little respect? How about you earn it first? I'm done. You what? I'm retiring. Why didn't it work out between you two? He's on more money than me. What? He didn't want me on the team. Didn't I? And you thought I was past my best? So none of this is true? There's always gossip in the paddock. And ever since he's arrived, it's been one man at the center of it all. I want us to push for fourth. I want us to beat Butler. And I want that seat to go to you. So Alfa Romeo potentially on track to really upset Alfa Tauri here. Butler's closing in on Ackerman. Down the inside he goes, and they hit each other. Butler into the barrier, and that looks to be the end of the race for him. The Dutchman looks to be continuing at. It's great to see him still in this fight, Crofty. Go to third, Aiden. What about Katzba? We let Aiden pass. Let Aiden pass. We did it. We did it. Have you seen the crash yet? Butler's OK. Bruised ego, perhaps. <laughs> All right then, so, into the Miami Grand Prix, into the 2022 season, not the 2023 season, so, evidently the story starts beforehand. Sort of like what's happened with Breaking Point 1, but hopefully, um, we've got that top three seat, of course, that was talked about, uh, Mercedes, Red Bull or Ferrari, of course. Uh, if not, I don't for a McLaren, maybe. I've not seen anything about this uh, career mode thing. So hopefully it goes well. well. Let's get into it. What was it like bringing a brand new team to the F1 grid? You know, the first time you see a car, your car, with your branding, your name on it, in an official race, alongside Ferrari, McLaren, Mercedes, that's what it's all about. You make it sound like a dream come true. If only. Hm. When did you first get a sense of what was in store for Connor Sport? 2022 season, <clears throat> straight out of the box. The drivers were always going to clash. That was a calculated risk. But the car, mm, the car, I had problems. We're midway through the Miami Grand Prix. It's been a cracking race so far, and it's all up for grabs. Absolutely, Crofty. Some fantastic driving here today, especially, I have to say, from Aidan Jackson. I don't think I've ever seen a Connor Sport car being put through its paces quite like this. This is a team, Connor Sport, that have got a lot to prove this season, but Jackson might just be the man to do it. Right, okay. Finish the race. Okay, Aiden. Nice job Connor so Sport. far. Let's try and bring that gap down to the car. There is a new Copy team that. on the grid. So there is a My Team element into this now, which is pretty cool. Not going to lie to you. Anyway, here we go then. Um, I have to admit, this could go very, very south quite easily as we go on the back of Sonoda into the left-hander to the swooping right-hander no move into them two corners into the chicane 
definitely have to drop it down to second gear and just lose the back end a little bit there as stick it down the left and onto the, onto the main straight really. Yeah, we're we're gonna switch we're gonna switch on to cockpit view. Battery charge really. is high. Let's use um, that overtake. On to the back of Sedona. To the left. Stable ERS. On to the DRS. Squeeze them out ever so much. We uh, slow the car down for the penultimate corner. Into the pit straight now. And to be fair. Can get catch up to Alonso. This is on a um, hard difficulty, but uh, evidently not. Evidently, uh, hard difficulty is like only about 70% AI. Anyway, uh, Alonso next up. And if he can, well, if we get past Alonso, we still got DRS on Schumacher. We'll take a really bad corner into there, but we'll take our favourite move. Sorry, Alonso, for giving you the little uh, tap, but make our favourite move, or my favourite move anyway, down the inside. The AI take a lot, uh, take a very, uh, very uh, wide turn into that. As we go on the back of uh, Schumacher, nearly lose it as we can't make our mind up what which side we want to go. In the end we go to the right on the outside of him, and it does get the job done. Norris and Bottas battling up ahead. This could be good as we do get within one second of him. On to the main straight again then. Purple second sector. That is what we like to see. We've got the DRS because we've got the DRS detection. We've got an e DRS. We're not going to use the ERS just yet. Because here we go. There's the battle that we wanted. And now we can get into the penultimate corner. That is poor from us. How have we not got damage? There's the damage. I'm an absolute idiot for doing that. I'll have really bad steering now for the rest of the uh, Grand Prix. Six more laps to go. To go on the inside of Bottas. On the left to the right. Oh, Con just coming out behind Norris. Bit of a tap there, if you didn't see it there. Uh, unfortunately, but there you go. These things happen. I keep on forgetting we can't take as much of a turn in as the other cars of course because of the front wing damage but we're not going to pit otherwise we basically lose positions we're we're in the point anyway at the moment so it's no point and we're gonna, as soon as we get past these two i think it's just defend for our lives so we can't see lewis on the um on the track map anywhere oh it might be george russell to be fair i think it's lewis here we go, trying to look on the outside of Akon there, no no move though for me, and into the chicane now, it's really difficult, and Akon, what are you doing mate? FIA needs to have a look at that one, go past him easily. Okay, good We've actually work. got the DRS from Akon, so we relax on the ERS, put on the DRS, Akon not far enough to make a move. On the inside, switch the outside of Norris round the outside, the long way round, and make the job done easily. Okay, and so the gap to the car ahead is uh, two point eight That's seconds. Good. Okay, so we're leaving our teammate it is Lewis Hamilton up ahead, two point four seconds up the road. Lap nine, five laps to go uh, in the race and. This could this could be a good uh, race. This could be really good for us, uh, especially con sport the new team in business. P8 uh, is four points. It would give us a really nice, uh, a really nice race uh, points for us. A good championship points. Hopefully, aiming for maybe P5 in the constructors. Maybe P6, I don't know. So we take a too deep a line, drop it down to second gear, nearly lose the back end. And we're actually going to just hit uh, Norris there accidentally. I do apologise for that uh, move. Of course, shouldn't do that, but 
it is what it is. I've got, I've got front wing damage, I can't do much about it. So, um, yeah, down the main street wall once again. And, uh, I think we're just going to sit pretty in there, PA, for another four laps. Um, so this is pretty cool. Um, nothing actually really happening with uh, us catching up to Hamilton. In fact, he's actually pulling away from us uh, and there's no way we can catch Gasly. Um, if we never got the uh, front window, we could probably get Gasly now. Uh, we'll probably be further ahead of Ocon and Norris anyway. Here we go. Hit on the wall and then we have to slow it so far down. We actually drop about a second to Ocon and Norris for that uh, rubbish, rubbish gameplay here. Um, here we go. Into the left hander, it's looking tidy. Yes, it is. Bit of oversteer, but. I don't get what it is with the controller at the moment, but it is quite oversteery. We do just we don't care anymore. We know we uh, need to defend, so my decision was just to uh, okay, that's we even make sure five laps of fuel remaining. Five laps the, uh, of fuel left. Stream. Jackson, just a few laps left to go, and he's out of the Miami Grand Prix. Oh, with every race, the car looks like a constant problem for Connor Sport. It must be devastating for the drivers. Confirmation as the car comes to a halt, the Connor Sports Aiden Jackson won't be seeing the checkered flag today. But it looks like his teammate will. Jackson's DNF puts Devon Butler in a position where he might just be able to secure some points for Connor Sport. Aiden's out. Yep, engine problem, I'm afraid. <laughs> Good job you got me. All right, Devon, don't push it too hard. We cannot risk losing both cars here. It's in the bag, mate. All OK, Aiden. Yeah, uh, how's Devon doing? Yeah, he's doing all right, mate. He looks like he's going to bring home some points for the team. Good for him. Frustrating that. And Devon Butler is our teammate. We've just figured that one out. Devon Butler is our teammate. I'm not happy about this. I will riot. I'm not happy about this. If it's not one thing, then it's another. Did you not see what happened out there today? Aiden, I agree with you 100%. We are doing everything we can. I know the car is not perfect, but... Andreo, it's every race. Do you know how I look losing easy points like this? Long knock. <laughs> Sounds like there's a right show going on in here. What am I missing? Not now, Devon. Aiden and I were just discussing issues with the car. Again? I thought that was all in hand. I, I had no problems today. Smooth. You know what they say? A shoddy workman always blames his tools. <laughs> mate, 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 mate. You can look at my setup data any time you want. I've told you that. It might help. And I've told you before. It's not a setup issue. The problem is... Jackson. That was the problem with the 2022 season. Ask anyone. I mean, at the end of 21, everyone thought Aiden was going to be signed by one of the big three. But uh, I guess they couldn't reach an agreement, so we both signed for Connor Sport. And do you think that affected Aiden? <laughs> That's no secret. Now, for that 22 season, Jackson was a nightmare. All right, into the workplace, and I assume there'll be a phone call actually, uh, as it was in breaking point one in the F1 2021. And the speaker, the devil, here we go. 
Eden, hey, I wanted to give you a heads up. Now look, the crew has shared the latest telemetry data with us. Fine, um, but I, I don't think it will tell me anything I don't already know. Just humor me, okay? I'd like you to go through it. Let me know if anything jumps out. I'm keen to iron out these problems as quickly as possible for you. Sure thing. Thanks, Andrea. No thanks needed. I've got your back, Aiden. Remember what I said when you joined the team. I won't let you down. Akamon wouldn't let me hear the end of it. <laughs> yeah, sounds like Casper. Y you know he told me the same, right? It's just... It's just tricky, what with the car and... Devin poking his nose in any chance he gets. There is a lot going on, for sure, but we're a team. We'll get there. I'll have a word with the devil. Tell him to give you some space, both on and off the track, okay? <laughs> yeah, all right. Good luck with that. Right, there you go. So, Aiden Jackson not liking uh, Devin Butler. And to be fair, just before we end off, Casper Ackerman in the story as well, but Davidoff Butler... Devon Butler, is it going to be a Lance Stroll, Lawrence Stroll situation? There is more to come on this, and uh, next, tomorrow should be my team. So, you should look forward to that. But anyway, in a bit, guys. See you in the next one. Peace out.